my name is uh, Dr. Rowena Joy John, um, or better known as RJ John. Uh, currently now, I'm employed at the University of Malaya Medical Center, Kuala Lumpur. This book is basically entitled, Joy of the Lord is My Strength, and it's volume one, and I believe um, God will lead me as I write more volumes in times to come. Basically, this book consists of 40 inspirational notes, and uh, each note is basically my personal walk of journey of my life with God. Uh, me and writing is totally a two different world. I never wrote anything before in my entire life. But from young, there was always a small desire in me that um, I wanted to do something really big for God. But it was just a silent, small desire. Never really bothered praying morning, day, night for it. But it's just a small desire. But well, I believe God listens to the slightest desire of each and every one of us. So basically, it was 31st of December in 2010. I was uh, attending a prayer session uh, and my leader was like praying for each and every one of us and he was saying that he was, I still remember that moment he was still up at the pulpit, he was sharing, he was telling God is going to speak to each and every one of you all. So at that particular time, I was just moving and, just, and, and I was just praying and suddenly at that moment, I actually saw bookstores. I saw MPH, I saw Popular, I just know it was bookstores. And I saw millions of people reading. It was just in my dream, it was just in my vision. So many people was reading, you know. And I saw one particular book that went all the way up to heaven, all the way up to the sky. I remember it was the sky. And I saw the book turn, you know. It's, I saw the book turn and it was just coming down. It was just coming down and down there I saw author Dr. Rowena. And he just stopped. And that time I was a fourth year medical student. So that time I was like, I'm a student student and I don't write. So I ignored it. I never knew that God actually gave me a vision on 31st December 2010 because I was like, God, I don't write. Uh, I, I, just, I just ignored it. And then the next year in 2011, January, there was one night I was just asleep and suddenly when I woke up, this phrase just came to me, joy of the Lord is your strength. Then I was like, okay, what is this? Ignored. Didn't bother, didn't focus much about it. Then the following week, I attended church in my local church back in Russia and the pastor was on the pulpit and he was sharing on the topic, Joy of the Lord is your strength. I was like, wow, this is the second time occurring in the same month. But still, I ignored it. I didn't know that God was talking to me. And after that, a few weeks after that, um, I had a fellowship prayer and my leader was praying and he ended the prayer with the phrase, Joy of the Lord is your strength. At that time, I felt I was quite convicted that, yes, um, I was facing through some personal challenges at that time, that indeed, joy of the Lord was my strength. But still, I did not expect that God was actually trying to talk to me. I ignored. Until July 2011, there was this friend of mine who I have not kept in touch very much. Suddenly, he just uh, sent me a message and told me uh, that, Rowena, I need to meet you urgently. But actually, from March, he was trying to talk to me. So I was like, ignored, because I don't really know much. I don't really know him well. I, it's just like hi and bye, but we have not kept in touch. But until July 2011, Rowena, I am right down at your doorstop. I need to talk to you. Then I'm like, okay, this is something serious. And he was like, started off with, um, um, Rowena, each and everyone knows God has a plan for you and me. So uh, this may sound weird to you, but there's something God told you to do. God has called you to do something extraordinary and big for His kingdom. But you are doubting Him. How am I going to do something big? I'm just a simple, ordinary medical student. Then he was like, um, God loves you so much. Do not focus on your challenges. Focus on what God has called you to do. Believe it or not, there is something God is giving you today to start writing. He takes out an iPad and he gives it to me. A free iPad. And that time I was blown away, I was like, a free iPad? And that's when it clicked my head. I actually did pray for an iPad. A slight desire. When he gave me an iPad, and he was like, God is calling you to write for him. I was like in tears, and I felt, God is so real. When I got the iPad, I never wrote anything before, like I mentioned. But that particular day, that particular day, I was actually hurt with somebody, you know? And I went back home and actually wrote something. I never knew a note came out from my disappointment. And my first title of my note is Let Go and Let God. 
So I just posted something in Facebook and people actually started liking the note and a few pastors from Dubai, India, US, they messaged me and they were like, the note is so inspirational, thank you so much. The note actually blessed somebody out there in the world. And that's when I realized the Holy Spirit is actually leading me in writing the notes. The main challenge that I face is basically my own mindset. You know, so uh, because when God told me to write, I just thought that, you know, just write and that's it. But I never knew the process after the writing and I have no clue of how to get the book out in the market. Basically, it's number one, like what I mentioned, is my mindset, the feeling of inferiority, like who will read my book, you know, who will support me to get this thing going. So I have to overcome that mindset. This book is God is in control. You will bring this to pass. The second challenge that I face is time. So basically, as I mentioned earlier, I'm working as a medical doctor and I'm expected to work long hours. So a lot of time and effort is also needed in compiling the notes and doing what is needed to go through each and every sentence, you know, and everything. So I thank God for the grace that He has given me, the discipline that He has given me to do what I'm supposed to be doing. Well, I thank God and praise God for each and every of these challenges that I had. He was there. You will want to read my book because each and every note of the book I believe just as how God used the note to speak to my own personal life. Each and every note in this 40 inspirational note will speak to your own personal life. I believe each and every of this note would make you to inspire you to be somebody so you will want to read my book because the joy of the Lord is my strength and the joy of the Lord is your spirit.